the Joe Rogan experience. And and uh, a hope of an afterlife as yes. well. In, yes, and that is the purpose and meaning, right? Ye- yes, I suppose that's right. Yes, I think that's that's right. Um, I can understand why people might want to believe a priest who comes along and tells them you don't have to worry about death because you're going to survive it. I'm less understanding of people who make up stories uh, to comfort either themselves or other people. I mean, a made-up story should not be comforting. I don't understand how a made-up story can be comforting. Of course, if you make it up and persuade somebody else, then they could find it comforting. Mm. On the other hand, is an afterlife really all that comforting? When you think about half of them believe they're going to go to hell, so it's anything but comforting. Um, And also, even if you're not going to hell, if you're going to heaven, eternity in heaven, I mean, sitting sitting in, in heaven for... Not just billions of years, but trillions of years. I mean, these are these are time spans beyond our comprehension. How unbelievably boring it would be. <laughs> would it though? I mean, I don't know. I I enjoy life, but if I had to live my life over and over again, infinitely, if if I had an infinite number of this exact lives, I don't know how I'd approach that. In the moment, I can enjoy it. I could do with maybe 200 years, but, but after <laughs> that. No, I mean, I think, I think that eternity is what's frightening about death. And eternity is best spent under a, local, under a general anesthetic, mm. which is what's going to happen. Right. Gonzo. Alcohol the lights. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe not. Have you had any experience with psychedelics? No. No? Do you have any interest in that? I've been offered to be accompanied on a trip by a very nice woman friend. Yeah. Uh, and I've never so far dared take her up on it. How come? I asked advice of a cousin of my father who's just recently died who was a major expert on psychedelics. And I think he was the one who introduced Aldous Huxley to, to uh, mescaline, for example. And he judiciously advised against, uh, he said that the, the horrors of a bad trip are so so awful that uh, he wouldn't. He wouldn't advise somebody to go into it. My friend, uh, who's offering me this this trip, says it would be a a relatively low dose, and she would take another low dose so she could kind of accompany me. Yeah, and stop me jumping out a window or anything. Well, there's so many stories in so many ancient religions that seem to originate with the consumption of some some sort of a psychedelic. Yes, and you know, there's many. Well, including John Marco Allegro's uh, The Sacred Mushroom Jesus, and the Jesus was a mushroom, yeah. yes. yes. So, I, mean, it, it, I mean, you could see the connection if you were a primitive person with no access to science and you found some mushroom growing under a tree and consumed it and had this unbelievable experience, you would assume that you've transcended this life and gone into this uh, other realm where, where God exists. I once thought that I would try a psychedelic when I was on my deathbed. That's it. But what if it was amazing? And you're like, I could have gotten so much done yes. with this okay. if I had maybe, maybe if I tried right. this yes. out when I was 30. <laughs> yes, maybe you're right. Yeah. I, I don't, you know, I don't think anybody should do anything. I mean, I, I, I used to. I used to encourage people to do things all the time. Now, my, my thought is do whatever compels you, whatever you feel like it. But I would think that a person like yourself who has this sort of rigorous belief that the lights go out and then that's it. I, I would think that that would be attractive to just at least dip your toes in. Yes, yes. Well, don't you think the lights go out? I don't know. Mm. You know, I don't know. I've had some pretty profound psychedelic experiences that make me wonder what um, what thoughts are and what, what consciousness is and w- whether or not there's some way that it transcends. Well, I wonder we what now. consciousness is, but it's pretty clear that it's to do with brains and brains decay. And so I, I wouldn't hold out much hope if I were you. Well, you might be right. Yeah. You might be well, certainly consciousness does have to do with brains and we know brain damage severely perturbs yeah. consciousness. Yeah. But there's some interaction with certain chemicals and that makes this experience far different than what it is when we're on the natch I as believe we are that, right now. It's still brains though. Mhm. Yeah. Still brain but that's it, reductionist. Nothing wrong with reductionism. Nothing wrong with it. No. Not saying there is. No. No. <laughs>